After choosing the type of laminate, you need to know. How much laminate flooring material do I need? The basic formula to find that answer is this. Multiply the length of the room by the width. Add 10%. Then round up to the next full box or package. Which way should your flooring face? For better looking results, try to orient your flooring towards the greatest light source. or the longest wall. Before placing any flooring down, decide on your starting wall. Then, determine how your last row of boards will end up. Divide your room's width, minus the manufacturer's recommended expansion space, by the board width. This will tell you how many boards it will take to reach the opposite wall. If you have less than one-third of a board left, it may not lay flat. To remedy this, add the leftover amount to the board width then divide in half. This number is the width your starting boards and ending boards should be trimmed to. Before starting your install, you will need to prep your floor space. The floor cannot have high spots. Scrape them off or sand them down. Low spots should be filled. Place the first row of underlayment. You will lay down the new rows as you go. It's important to take into consideration the thickness of your baseboard trim. Your expansion space must be less than this so your trim will cover it. As you install your flooring, use spacers to maintain the proper expansion space. Laminate installation requires a lot of cutting. Most of these cuts will be end cuts. There are a number of ways to make these end cuts. You can use a shear, like the Easy Shear. Or you can use a chop saw. When you make an end cut at a wall, rotate the board 180 degrees. Mark it. Cut it. Then rotate it back and install. For a better looking result, try to stagger the end cuts as you lay your flooring, making them as random as possible. Besides your board cutter, you will find these tools essential. A hammer, a pull bar, tapping block, utility knife, tape measure, square, spacers, jigsaw, and a pencil. Other tools which you might find helpful. An undercut saw, a chalk line, skimmer, no flip clip. With care and the proper tools, you too can successfully install your own laminate flooring.